What is up guys, Bradza here, and welcome to the PES 2021 IX Master League Series. Well, this is the 7th episode, and we're about to start the new year, 2021, and uh, can't wait to start the year. I can't wait to start, let's see how many games we have here. We might, we might actually finish January in this episode. So we got PSV, followed by Heron Vane, then Heracles, Fortuna Sattard, and then Kronikan. So... Five games in this episode today. We're gonna go through January. Um, let's see what signs we can make. Next episode, we will be playing Champions League. Yeah, first leg against Liverpool in the Champions League next episode, or the episode after. I'm not too sure. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss another video. Very series is very very close to finishing. Very very close to finishing. And here it is, our first signing in the winter window. Welcome. To IX Adama Triore. Now, I don't know if this would ever happen in real life, but this match is gonna have a lot of a little bit more flexibility and more fun. You know, signings that might not might not happen in real life, you know what I'm saying? Adama Triore is a very, very good player in this game, and I'm glad to have him in the team. They do need to update his face though, because this is a very outdated face. It looks like one of his faces from 2017 or whatever. Hello, I'm Adama Triore, and I'm super excited about joining the club. I hope to see y'all soon. Come on, you Ajax. I don't know about all that English, but you know what I'm saying. Excited to have this guy on my team. Very, very fast player. He, he caused so many problems to the area of the VC. If you can mention this former rental, we'll be, we'll be very pleased to see his objective. Keep your eye on the prize and keep those wins rolling in. Of course, we will give it our all. Of course, we will. Um, two defeats in the area of VC, not too bad, but I'd much rather like. You know, keep keep winning. You know, on the gone undefeated. And Scott Parker has left Fulham to go to Sun. Wow. Jeffrey United has signed development from us. Damatore has signed us. Alvarez has come back from his loan. Might not have needed a defender to be honest. I did not know that his loan was only six months. I completely forgot. Somebody I was very interested in the last episode was Ruben Semedo, the defender from Olympiacos. He's a player I would love to have in the team. It doesn't have a release clause, but let's see if maybe we could throw in somebody in a deal. Actually, we'll throw in uh, tr uh, the guy that we just got back from loan. What's his name? Alvarez, yeah. Alright, so let's see. Hopefully, they say yes to this. If they don't, then, you know, we try. Alright, first game of the episode against Ajax. Very, very late. Um, let's see how we do, man. Ajax. Sorry. First game of the episode against PSV. What am I saying? We played against I, uh, PSV earlier in the season. The first game in the Super Cup, we did beat them by a goal to nil. Thanks to Davin I think. Was it Davin Neres that scored? I think it was either him or maybe it wasn't him. I'm not, too, I'm not sure who scored, but he was very, very important. Scott bringing out some good players. John Stones, Palomino, Miranda, Jakim Anderson. Now plays for Fulham. We'll see how Semedo does. If he says yes, then we're going to sign him. All right, so this is going to be our lineup for today. A 4-3-3. Uh, Tadic starts with Martinez and Elmas in the midfield. Blend, Disasi, Dest, and Taglifico. Dest still in the team. Obviously, we know that he's a he's a one away. Everybody has agreed that we should sell him. But who knows? Uh, if he doesn't come with a bid, then if nobody comes with a bid for him, then I'm not going to sell him. I'm just going to keep him in the team looks like a pretty solid team and uh, yeah first game against Ajax I mean the PSV why do I keep on saying Ajax first game against PSV in this episode we beat them before can we do it again let's hope and pray PSV versus Ajax two very historic teams a game that would mean so much more if PSV was actually competing for the title these guys are lying like in eighth place or something I mean, they were having, they're having a horrible season but you know rivalry game these ones are always tough and uh, you saw how rivalry games were against IZ and Feyenoord. I basically, basically half the league is about rivalry team for me. Like literally every game I have, at least one game of episode is a rivalry game. So let's see how we do against the uh, PSV. I think at, this is at their stadium also. We beat them in the Super Cup. They want to get revenge from that. A chance for them to win the trophy that they could not win. And uh, let's hope and pray that we can get a result here. Oh, that should have been one there already. Devin Neres, Elmas. Oh. 
It's been a bright start here for Ajax. A PSV a little bit shell shocked. Almost a goal down. And uh, Marlon gets past the players. A good save there from Onana. Here comes Quincy Promes. Oh, gets past Dumfries with ease. Here he comes on the left hand side. Quincy Promes. We know he has a lot of speed. And uh, uh, Bispo was able to stop him on the challenge. Ball gets stolen here. Finds Gabriel Almos. Martinez finds Promes against Dumfries again. That is terrific skill. Ugh. Gabriel and it's 1-0. And Ajax take the lead against PSV once again. It's Gabriel. Devin there has scored it before. Gabriel scores in this game. 1-0. And there's Mudwicker coming off for Katic. Or Chachic. However you say that name. Chatic. 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 Yeah. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Yeah. It's a clean challenge. A I won the ball properly. Pressing it well. Yeah, he couldn't get away from the double team. And Rodriguez knows a good free taker. Rodriguez and it hits the walls are going to be a corner. One of the best freaky takers in recent times. Scoring some wonderful free kicks for Ace Milan and Wolfsburg. But couldn't convert this one as a corner kick here for the likes of PSV. He's taking the corner there. He's very, very precise when it comes to uh, set pieces. Blend. Good there. From uh, to chase him, Hiltarin, and they've won it back. And it's Gabriel. Ah, oh, he can't dribble. <laughs> they've won the ball cleanly. Trying to beat the ball over the top. No, I think it's time for the Charlie bump. Gabriel gets fouled, and it's a free kick here for Ajax, and it seems like Adama Traor will be making his debut very, very soon. He's getting ready, warmed up on the, the touchline, and here he comes. Adama Traor with the number 18, who uses base and try to destroy the teams in the RDVC. PSV now trying everything they can, sending a lot of men forward. They've been lackluster the whole 90 minutes, so if they get something out of here, it's very undeserved. And it's full time. PSV nil. Ix one. Oh, PSV's been. That was a horrible game for PSV, man. They are so bad. Thought they we were going to be playing much better than this. And uh, I was kind of left disappointed, to be honest. At their own home stadium, too. Doesn't matter. We take the win. Charlie made his debut. Looking, looking very comfortable. We move. And uh, another day, another victory for Ix. Heron Vane. Ruth Adelman 20 got destroyed. Grunt again wins. And Feyenoord win. Uh, and Azad also won. Alright, alright. So we're right behind them. 12 points behind them. 12 goals and goal difference behind them. What did they say? Negotiate with Samara moving nicely. Okay, I think we're good. We're good, we're good to sign him. Huh? Um, Ajax have won the derby. They're second place still. Trari had a good debut. And uh, Gabriel's injured. Ruben Samedo has said yes. He wants to join the Ajax project. Chance of winning the Champions League with the Ajax boys will be great for him. And uh, Alvarez will be going the other way. He didn't even get a chance at the club, but he, I'm sure he'll do great at Olympiacos. Ruben Semedo, though, welcome to the club. And here it comes, Ruben Semedo, the experienced defender from Olympiacos. The Portuguese man has signed for Ajax. Ready to play some good football. And command the defense like he did at Olympiacos. Excited as well. Welcome to the club, mate. And Olympiacos has signed Alvarez from Ajax. Technically, Ruben Semedo has signed. And Tadish got an offer from Marseille. Um, Tadish got an offer from Marseille. Unuvar got an offer from, from China. 10 million. And I'm not really using him. I don't even think I've used him this season. And, you know, Trier and everybody here. And, yeah, I think I'll just take him. If you if it was my, this was like a long term series, I probably would have kept him. But because it's only a season, I'm not gonna use him. 
and there's no really no point. Tadic, on the other hand, got an offer from Marseille for 21 million. No thank you. All right, so following game against Herenveen, we drew with them in the first game of the season. And uh, now we have a chance to redeem ourselves. So let's change the lineup real quick. All right, so this is going to be our lineup for this game. A 4-3-3 once again. No, everybody's the same basically, but Ruben Semedo makes his debut today. We're going to see him, how he does against uh, Herenveen. Let's see how he does. Let's see how he does. And the front three is the same. Adama Traore off the bench. Johnny Cabral also ready to come on any time. And yeah, 4-3-3 for Herenveen also. Did give us a hard time. Obgar was a guy that scored against us. Had to be wary, but I think we could get a result here. Death now, we definitely can. So PSV, PSV was a was a dub. Game against uh, Aaron Vane should be a dub also. So let's go. All right, Abelenstra Stadium. PSV stops us from getting an opening day victory at uh, Pep's debut game. Fans were a little bit disappointed. But, you know, for the most part, Pep's have been doing pretty good. Obviously, they're still competing for the title. Uh, only behind Feyenoord by goal difference. And the Rubens Semedo, the defender from Olympiacos, that did incredibly well against us. So well that we signed him. So, yeah, let's see how this man does today against Herenveen. Not strong opposition, but, you know, we could use command in this today. That could be very, very helpful. Let's try to get a result here. Come on, guys. And the game gets underway, Heron Vane versus Ajax, Ajax with the red and white and Heron Vane with the blue and white. Maybe a little bit contradicting kits, but I think I got it for the most part. Good press again there, Gabriel finds Quincy Promise, wonderful press from Quincy Promise, can he get rewarded from it? Oh man! Maybe a chip would have gone better, but pressed by Quincy Promise almost rewards himself with a goal. Oh, here comes Herenveen again, playing some good football. And there's a Juke or a Juke, whatever your name is. Oh, wonderful by Dusasi there. Command, command, commander type of defender. Promes. Gabriel with the one two with Promes. And he crossed the ball well. He does. Elmas. Oh, Tadic was ready to rip it. Kongolo with the cross, Semedo wins the header. Damatari with the wonderful pass. Here they come on the counter break. Ball over the top to find Devin there. It's a wonderful stop from the defense. Ruben Semedo doing his job at the defense, but when it comes to the attack, we've been lackluster. Dang, man. Wow, they defend us so well. And we couldn't beat Herenveen the second time. Another draw against them, and I think Fine Lord, they've won. As it lost, though, Fine Lord to go two points above us. Disappointing, disappointing. All right, next game against Heracles Almelo and the Eric VC. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need any more signings. I think I'm sealed for everything. To be honest, let's look at the team again. Defense, we have five goalkeepers. One, two, three, four, five, and only four center backs. But I think I could do with this maybe a left back as a backup. But um, like I said, Blink could play there. A right back if uh, somebody comes in with a bid for Dest. You know what? Let's see. Let's try to see uh, if we can offer Dest to Barcelona. All right, so Ruben Semedo, sorry, Nelson Semedo. Let me see if we can offer Dest in that deal. And uh, 14 million. Um, let me give him some bonuses and see if he leaves. Uh, so they're getting a right back for a right back. I know that Nelson Semedo doesn't play for uh, this team. So no, another Wolves player we're getting. If we do end up signing him, I don't think he's going to go through. But yeah, let's see. And the big game against the uh, Heracles. Let's change lineup real quick. All right, so this is gonna be our lineup for today. A four-three-three. Three. You know, in fact, I'll play Sure instead of Desassi. So four-three-three. Three, Blind and Sure start in defense. Dest Taglifico in the fullback position. Martinez a defensive midfielder. Uh, Tadic, Elmas, Quincy Promes, Gabriel, and David Neres. And uh, Damatorio on the bench. Ryan Babel also. 
And we were able to be starts on the bench today. And yeah, Rackles, I think we beat them in the last second thing, so Ryan Babel will go. And uh, hopefully we want to get a result here again. And the win, a win is a priority. We can't get anything below a victory if you do lose this game or drop points. It'll be very, very disappointing. All right, so Ajax versus Arachlis. A big, big game today. I'm trying to get a result here. This should be a comfortable victory for us. But you never know, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I lose and I drop points and stuff like that. But I think we could win. We definitely win. Here comes Devin Neres. Tadic getting bundled off the ball by whoever that guy was. Good football here from Ajax. There's Devin Neres against Hardeveld. Can he get past him? He does. No, he doesn't. Wow. The players, Ajax players are weak. Huh? Tadic. Tagliafico. Look at how many people they have behind the... Oh, my God. Dest. Ugh. Oh. Dang, bro. Mm -hmm. Devin there is on the ball here. Running out of defense again. It's been all him. It's a good ball. Maybe to find somebody. Quincy Promes was coming from behind the defender. And it's a corner kick here for Ajax. It's been all Ajax the first 30 minutes. I don't think Herak has even crossed the halfway line once. And Blint. A touch was poor, though, from Blint. And they come on the counter attacks. The only the fullbacks here. The Briggs work. Good tackle. Good tackle there from Schurz. And then comes Devin Neres. Who finds Brazilian counterpart in Gabriel. Bro, my God, Devin Neres struggling. Devin Neres! Oh. Good chance there from uh, the Brazilian. But shot, the right of shot at Blastwick. <laughs> Alright, second half, we're gonna try centering targets, see if that does anything. Alexander Merkel coming out for Kiyomotros. <laughs> okay, good steal there from Blind. Gabriel. Oh! Oh, man! Devin there's the shots. It's just over the bar. It elevated a little way, way too high. But it's good movement there from Ajax. First shot they had in the second half. It comes, it's coming very quick. Took it past the defender. But the shot was always going over the bar. Here comes Devin Neres. Let's pass Mohamed Osman. That's with the cross. Gabriel! Oh, man! Come on, Elmas! Pay attention, Elmas! It's a good pass from the Dama Traore! Um, there's no way! <sighs> okay, good cross. Ah, oh, nah! Come on, come on. You can't drop points against this team. Dama Troy with the cross. Gabriel! Oh my god! Zero minutes of out of time, right? Two, come on. It's time for chips. Here comes Tadic. Gabriel! He scores! Come on! In the last second of the game, Gabriel puts it away for Ajax. And the three points are staying at Amsterdam. 1 0. Come on! Uh, what a pass from Tadic. I thought he was good. I was trying to pass to Quincy, actually. I wasn't even trying to pass the ball to Gabriel, but he went to Gabriel, worked out in the end, and the three points stay at their home arena. Ajax won. Arachlis nil. Come on. And it's full time. Ajax get a late victory, 90 plus 2, to get the result against Arachlis. What a result this is. It's team. It's team, man. Team that keeps on giving. 1-0, we move. All right, so Ajax, they beat Heracles 1-0. PSV drew. Let's look at uh, first attempt they won. Fainer, please, please, please. Yes, they lost. Villain 2, thank I mean, coming clutch. As it won. So we take overtake them at the table again. We just have to keep on winning, man. Let's end the episode. Top of the table, please. Two more games. We're gonna be the deadline is going to be today also. Ugh. Uh, that my first to the middle breaks down. 
Ryan Babel got an offer from Schalke, and I think I'm gonna sell him. Two million. Uh, thank you very much. Kevin, he's making a lot of money. Cleared the wages a little bit, and uh, welcome to the club. Nelson Middle has rejected. And uh, man, all right. So we're just gonna wait for an offer for Des to come in, and if he, no one comes in and bids for him, then he's gonna stay in the team. Next game is against uh, Fortuna Sattard. And it's how, let's see how it chain line up. Devin Nurse is injured, meaning that we're going to have to play Jovan Cabral and Adama Traore on the wings. Because this guy, Perma is on terrible form. Um, besides that, I think everybody sets Masrawi is fit too. Nah, but I'll start this. That's also an excellent form. So, yeah. Okay, so 4 3 3 once again, same formation as usual. Uh, got a late victory in the game against uh, Heraclius. Can we do this? Can we get a comfortable victory against Fortuna Sattard? Let's hope that we do. And we got the Fortuna Sattard Stadium, which is called the Fortuna Sattard Stadium. Uh, we're going against uh, Fortuna Sattard. I don't think they're doing too hot in their DVC. I don't remember. I did not check. But. Uh, we beat them before, thanks to Gabriel, who missed some good chances in that game. But a lot of our main players aren't playing. Quincy Promo is out for this game, and so is Devin Neres. Damatrio will get his first start in for the club. And he starts on the left-hand side instead of the right. Let's see if he does anything there. And Fortuna Zatar still have the ball here! And it's a good shot there from their player, but it's well saved by Ronana. And here they come again. Ayas on the counter break. Oh, I thought he passed. I thought he completed that pass. When they have the ball still, here comes Dimers. Wonderful pass to find Sis. But Dest is there to stop him. The pass is poured there from Dest. It's a good steal. Martinez. Gabriel. Find Damatra on the left hand side. Who's bombing for it? Using his pace. Adama Traore! Good chance there from the Spanish man. But Pep will be disappointed with that shot. There's been a problem with him for the longest time, Adama Traore. Getting into good spaces, try to score. Doesn't do the smartest thing. It was a good effort though, but uh, just missed it. One minute at a time. I'm trying to find some space here. Here comes Cabral. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, what kind of horrid pass is that? Half time, nil nil. Jesus Christ, this first half has been trash. Go pass the fine dust. Oh my god, Elmas! That's not what I wanted to pass. Mm. A football here from from Sitard. Will Blind is able to read the pass well? Bro, why did you stop running? Adama Traore, Huntalar! Hunt oh my god! Elmas, who is it? Wayne Stadic, Dest. Sergino Dest, oh! Huntalar! Oh, that was, that was like one Huntalar, that was Adama Traore. Move, wonderful. Look across. Oh, and they're going back. So time is nearly up. One final twist, perhaps. Move out the way, Hunt. Oh, my God, the dumb Traore. The ball over the top to find Huntelar. Huntelar, come on! 90 plus one, and it's Huntelar that gets the goal. Once again, late, late drama. And Pep will be disappointed. But we'll take it anyways. What a ball there from Elmas. And Huntelar, the hero of the hour, puts it away for IX. And it's 1 0. Come on! What a victory! What a victory! Uh, the results Hanvein win and uh, Feyenoord draw with PSV. Wow. 
That's great, man. That's really, really good. AZ, they won. They beat them too. So we're five, three points clear off Feyenoord thanks to that game. And uh, clearing the table. And Ryan Bebo has signed for Schalke. Azlar celebrating as his team scrapes a victory. Onana's getting with the move away. Blim with the move to Benfica. No bids from um, Douglas Costa. Wow, that would be a good player, but I don't think I need him. No bids from anybody from from for Dest. Seems like he's gonna stay in the team unless some late minute drama happens. Let's we'll see. Devin there's got off tackle Fico from Napoli. Nope. All right, so let's let's try to see if I can find a right back. Let's try to see if I can find a right back that's uh, available, you know, just in case he's he does end up leaving. Oh, Hakimi! He plays for other? 50 million and uh, let's offer 40 million. I'm just gonna have this ready just in case Des does leave. And Hakimi said yes to our deal. That's if Des decides to leave. From Tadic from PSG. And Disassi from Nantes. This is the team I got him from. Nah, nah, no, no way I'm selling them players. Five million only. Nope. And the Tadish from PSG. How many goals does Tadish have? Four goals, five assists. Not even playing like amazing. But he's doing the job. Five hours left. Join Cabral. <laughs> Seems like this is gonna stay. Tackle Fico again from Arsenal. No, thank you. 48 million, that's a great offer though, but I don't need to sell him. And Tackle Fico again, oh my god, bro. I'm, I'm not selling you. I'm not selling them. Is it Dest? That's it, man. Dest. Two hours. I wouldn't have enough time to sign up. anyone if you had there. Yeah. One hour remaining. Somebody gonna come with the last hour bid? Nope. And Sir Genio Dest will be an Ajax player to the end of the season because nobody came in with a bid for him. And the last game of the episode against Grown Again. Uh, Graham Burst got his contract extended. The Blint looking might be signing somebody. Negotiations filled with the uh, with Hakimi. He couldn't get the medical on time or something. I don't know. <laughs> Another rivalry game against Grown Again. Let's change lineup real quick. And this is going to be our lineup for today. A 4-3-3. Gravenberg starts in the midfield over Tadic. Damatore starts on the right over Davin Neres. Quincy Promes on the left. Gabriel front. And Ruben Semedo starts in the defense with Ted Sassi and Dest, who's on buzzing form because it's a rivalry game. Uh, this has been 1-0, one 1-0 nil, one nil every game I've been playing. So I think I'm going to change. Instead of hug the sideline, we're going to do a uh, standard targets. And the counter target is going to be uh, Quincy. Let's see if that, because that, that's been working. That's been working. We've been playing much better in the second half because we've been centering targets. So we're going to try that in this game. We tried that in the Olympiacos first time, and it didn't work. We lost that game. But, you know, ever since then, every time I've tried it, we've won. So let's hope and pray that they pull through this time. All right, so we are at the Ajax Arena. Last game of the episode against Grun again. The next episode, we have big Champions League fixture against Liverpool and a couple of the VC games. Pepe Reina has signed for Grun again, so he's excited to uh, lead this team to something. I don't know, but uh, they have a good goalkeeper and leader as their captain. Tackle Fico with the captain's arm bent today because there's no blend and no Tadic. And uh, can he lead this team into a victory against Grun again again? Let's hope that we do. The game gets underway. Ajax have yet to lose. It's been a couple games since they last lost. Like they've been like ten games or something. Luis Emilio gets him out of the defense. He didn't. Every time he's coming, he's been playing well. Here comes uh, Quinty Promes. Max forward. Adama Traore we're looking for one the header. Go cross. Ah, Adama Traore, man. <laughs> Headers over the bar, the double try. I just want to get his first goal. Like, you just get it off before the Liverpool game. Ah, oh, Gabriel almost steals it. It's a good ball in. Looking for Gabriel, maybe. Ah, oh, the guy had to come out and clear it in the end. It's a corner kick for the away, for the home team. Elmas is the one taking the corner because there's no blend today. 
Can he whip a good ball in? Adama Torre has the ball towards Fico. Martinez. Torre. Gabriel! He was hitting it on the volley instead of a header. This is the first. You know, usually they try to go with their head. But almost scoring past Pepe Reina. And that should have been 1 0 here for IX. That would have been a great goal, too. Go to Damatrari. Dust. Gabriel! What a goal! Oh, man. Hits this man again. And it's 1 0 IX. Gabriel with the overhead kick. My word. Pepe Reina was in shock. Good pass there. From, to find the damage warrior from Dest. Who found Dest. And oh, he is a lob overhead kick. Lobbed it over Pepe Reina. Damage Roy settled the ball. Saw Dest making the run on the right hand side. Looked a good ball in and was onside. Gabriel saw the ball coming. And he said, look, I'm going to put this overhead over the keeper. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 1-0 for Ajax. Thanks to Gabby Go. There goes Martinez. Tackle Fico with the overhead left and run. It's a chance for Elmas! It's too easy for Ajax! They're killing Gron again! It's 2 0. Oh my god, the midfield is playing so fluid today. What a pass from Pumas. Overlapping run. Elmas kept on running and kept on running. Something that the Titans would never do. And it's 2 0 for, for Ajax against Gron again. It's been way too easy this first half. Good header there from Ursi Medo comfortably win the defense has been. They haven't had much to do the defense. Here comes Elmas though. Elmas is the, that's the number 10, bro. It's working, it's working. Here they come again. That's with the cross. Gabriel! Gravenberg! <laughs> and the IX boys are trying. They're like, you know what? This is working. This is working. Good cross there from Dest. Well cleared. Gravenberg took the shot with the right foot, and it was a little bit wide, but, you know, it's not like he hasn't scored from that position before. Gronigan have just been not been in the game. They've been completely shell-shocked. There's been a dominant performance here from Ajax. Here comes Promise on the right-hand side. Quincy Promise on the ball here. Going against Mat Matusia. Gravenberg. Ah, oh, Damatrari forces Matsuya, Matsuya to clear the ball for a corner. Can they get a third before the half fence? Elmas looks a good ball in. Ah, oh, Damatrari. Oh, it's well cleared. Wonderful football. Oh, Gabriel. Damatrari. Ah, Damatrari, wonderful save. Overhead kick on, he's offside. Oh my god. They're disbanding this, this ground again. Seems like the game's gonna be over. And it's 2 0. It's a comfortable victory here for Ajax. They dominated against Grun again. One of our best performances this season. Well, I know it was only 2 0 victory. We didn't concede any goals. Defense seems to be sorted, sorted itself out. These two men are like rocks at the back. Might be a future partnership. Been a comfortable, comfortable victory here for the likes of Ajax and uh, PSV Los Aracles. Feyenoord drop points against AZ. Wow, the gap is going bigger and bigger. Five points clear against uh, uh, Feyenoord. You know what? Vitesse is our last game this episode. Okay, we're going to do six games this episode. Six. It'll be crazy, but you know. We'll do the Liverpool. What are the next games in the other competition? So then this this episode will end with the Vitesse game. And then it'll be Venlo, Emin, part of Rotterdam, Liverpool, and then Emin again. So we did kind uh, of... We did a... Uh, we did the uh, centering targets against our previous uh, ground again, and it worked beautifully. So I guess that's going to be our thing for the rest of the season. Back four, Ruben Semedo has been fantastic. Every, every time he's come on, he's done well. So if Fico starts, Tadish back in the side because uh, Gavin, where's Gavin Bridge? Yeah, Gavin Bridge is on poor form. Martinez is on poor form also, but I'm going to start him. Adama Chori is going to start over. Uh, Devin Neres, Gabriel, and Quincy Promise up front. That front three has been lethal in recent times. And uh, let's hope that they keep on scoring like this.
All right, last game of the episode against Vitesse. We destroyed them last time. Gravenberg scored a screamer against them. But uh, let's hope that we can get a result again. And we're at the Gar Garber Dome, or whatever the stadium is called, the home of the test. Very nice stadium, but uh, the tests have been doing okay this season. They surprised, surprised wins against like the PSV and stuff. But uh, Ajax is a new whole new ball game. They've this this 2021 year they've been phenomenal. Only one draw. Good ball to find Tagle Fico. It's a good ball in Gabriel. Oh, falls back to Adamo Traore. Can we find Stadich? Elmas! Oh, man. And a good press there from Ajax, forcing Vitesse to clear the ball. Tackle Fico. Finds Promise. A good cross there. Oh, that was falling right. The, the thing about uh, the last game that we're going to play total toe with us. In this game, Vitesse is playing mad defensive. Adama Troy with a chance there. It was a second header! 1 0! And it's Gabriel again! Adama Troy with the assist. His strength is winning us the header. Pulls out the gun and shooting the back of the net. Because that's, that's what he's doing right now. Another goal here for Gabriel. And it's Ajax 1 for Test nil. What, what a header there from uh, Adama Troy to find Gabriel. And the Brazilian puts it away. Come on! He's still holding the ball. Good pass to find Adama Traore. And he gets his first goal for Ajax. 2-0. Finally, Adama Traore puts it away. And Ajax have doubled the advantage. What's hold up play from Gabriel? This is why he's starting over Devin Neres. He got past one. Completed the pass to find Adama Traore. And Adama Traore scores past the keeper. Top of the roof. In the roof of the net. Good pass there from Gabriel Damatore. I'm not gonna miss from there. Bing! Kills a goal. Ajax 2, Groningen. Oh, sorry, Ajax 2, Vitesse nil. Playing against a team like Vitesse, reminds me of Groningen. How much time we had on the ball. Not parking the bus either. Oh! Oh! And it should have been three. Damatore, look at him. Bro, he's been destroying this team, this league. Good touch there from Elmas, and it's just wide. Ruben Semedo, wow, wonderful. Way too easy there for Ruben Semedo. Read the pass like a book. Here they come on the counterattack, though. And it's Quincy Promes on the right hand side. Here he comes. Quincy Promes, he's Gabriel. <laughs> pass is not the best, but he tried. Good pass to find Del Delaveris. It's a goal to find Grotz and a wonderful save from Onana. Not have much to do in this game. Well, why? Like, I don't care that the server is lost. Tanane. Well punched away from Onana. And the Tanane again. Can he put a good ball in? No, he finds his teammate Barrel. Rochelle Basilware. And they get one back. The first goal we concede in this episode. Rochelle Basilware puts it away. And the tests are right back in the game. Oh my god. They built it out from danger. Go past there. Oh. Promise! Oh my god! What was that? <laughs> that was great football, too. What a pass there from Devin Harris. And Promise, who got past the defender, was gonna seal it. Oh, that was a horrible shot. And the game, and it's it! Two goals to one. The game was won in the first half once again. Thanks to this man over here, Gabriel. Scored the first goal. Basically made the second goal for Damatrari. And uh, Ajax are winning. They're clearing the league. We're going to end the episode on a high. And we move. Other results. Heron Vein win. Swente win. Altenhag win. Feyenoord lose again. I said drop points. Wow. It's been, it's been a meltdown for Feyenoord. Ix, wow, Ix, eight points clear. Sorry, yeah, eight points. Clear. It's been a fun day for Ix here. PSV seventh position still, bottom of the table is Raj like with eleven points. And the next episode we're gonna get Vivi Viv Venlo followed by Emin in the cup, then uh, Sparta Rotterdam, then probably Liverpool, and then we play Emin again in the league. Newcomer Ruben Semedo, top expectations. Yeah, he's been solid at the defense, solid.
And uh, Gabriel got a nickname called Quechada. And uh, Quincy Proms is a maestro now. Yeah, great, great victory here for the Ajax boys. If you guys like this video, please comment, like. Actually, let's, let's, you know what? Before we end this episode, let's look at the transfers that happened. That's true. So, Kwasi went out on loan to Valencia. And then, uh, actually, you know what? Let's click here. Okay, so the biggest one was probably uh, Adama Traore, who signed with us. Keita Baude went to a uh, Benfica. Loretto, who I'm, I think is Gabriel Verón, because I know Palmeiras is not licensed in this game. So, I, I'm assuming that's Gabriel Verón. I, ha I haven't checked the website yet, but it probably is him. He's gone to Marseille. Max Phillip has gone to the fake team. Veltman, Ariola, Marin. Harvey Elliott has gone to Wolves on loan. They need to replace uh, Dama Traore, so they signed Harvey Elliott. Um, Pedri has gone to uh, Fiorentina. The Ambrosio has gone to Atalanta. Pellegri has gone to Juventus. I thought he was playing that. No, he wasn't. Yeah. That's a good signing for Juventus, one for the future. Um, Gordon has gone back on loan to Everton. Rob Pedro has gone on loan to Girona. Phil Jones has gone to Leicester. Patrick Bamford has gone to Sheffield United. Carl Darlow to Everton, Cataldi to Real Madrid, Brahim Diaz on loan, Mariano went to Sevilla on loan, Pat went to Pez United, and Ketia went to Sarantan on loan. We still run people to, uh, to Schalke. Kennedy has gone to Sheffield United on loan, Sergio Rico to Napoli on loan, Juan Zabi to West Ham on loan, Billy Gilmore to Arsenal on loan. Wow. From Juventus, so they signed him. Peacock Farrell, Burnley Boy, gone to uh, Real Sociedad. And uh, I think that's it when it comes to the big big signings. Nobody here like that's out of this world. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, and Curtis Jones to Arsenal, I don't know. So yeah, that's basically it for the episode. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss another video. Champions League, the next episode in the knockout stage if you want to see how Ajax does play against Liverpool. Don't want to miss that episode. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.